assalamu alaikum friends you are watching start technology 5g in today video we will study the analog to digital control devices so let's start the video analog to digital control devices analog to digital converter are the most widely used devices for data convert digital computer as use binary value but in physical world everything is analog temperature pressure and velocity are a few example of physical quantities we need an external analog to digital converter to translate the analog signal to digital number so that the microcontroller can read and process them pic 16f887 microcontroller have an on chip analog to digital peripheral just like timers and usa rt an on chip analog to digital eliminate the need for an external analog to digital converter which means more pins for the other input output activities the analog to digital converter module has the following feature the converter generate a 10 bits binary result using the method of successive approximation and store the conversion result into the adc register there are 14 separate analog inputs the analog to digital converter convert an analog input signal into a 10 bits binary numbers the minimum resolution or quantity of the conversion may be adjusted to various need by selecting voltage reference v reference negative and v reference positive the operation of analog to digital converter is in control of the bit for four register adress contain high bytes of the conversion result adress containing low bytes of the conversion at con 0 control register 0 and at con 1 control register 1 adresh and adresl register the result obtained after converting an analog value into digital is a 10 bit number that is to be stored in a adresh and adresl register these are two way of handling it left and right justification which simplify its use to great extent you can see here is a picture adresh and adresl at con 0 the at con 0 contain various adc control bits like adsc1 and adsc0 are used to set the clock frequency the chs3 chs2 chs1 and chs0 select the analog channel and go over done start the conversation and the a done enable the adc you can see from here we can set the frequency and from here we can set the analog channel from this bit we can start the conversation and it will enable the adc at con 1 the at con 1 contain various adc control bit like adfm select the right justification or left justification acfg1 select the negative voltage reference and acfg0 select the positive voltage reference how to measure the temperature using lm35 for the description Temperature measurement is one of the most common tasks performed by the microcontroller. We are using LM35 temperature sensor to measure the temperatures. In this project, we will use the character LCD, and the LCD is connected with port C, and LCD control pins are connected with port D, and the LM35 sensor is connected with RA1 pin of the PIC16 or W7 microcontroller, and the microcontroller is operated with the 4 MHz crystal. Circuit diagram. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. Here is the PIC16 or W7 microcontroller. RA1 is interfaced with the LM35. We are using 4 MHz crystal. Crystal is interfaced with the 14 and 30 pin, and we are using 22 PF capacitor. Port C is interfaced with the LCD, and we are using 8 bit mode. And control bit of the LCD are connected with the RD0, RD1, and RD2 pin. So let's start this circuit in a process. And after that, we will write that code in MPLAB.
current circuit is ready. Now we will write its code in MPLAB. After that, we will test this circuit. Friends, main file is ready and I already wrote a code. I will copy this code. I will paste it. I will explain you the code. Here is the PIC 16 bit configuration. Here is the XE header file. Here is the PIC 16 header file here we define a crystal frequency here we define a lcd on port c and here we define a control pin rd0 rd1 and rd2 pin lcd e enable pin read write pin and rs pin is interface with the rd0 rd1 and rd2 pin here is the function of the lcd initialize here is the function of the lcd command here is the function of the lcd data here is the function of the lcd string here is the function of the lcd delay here is the function of the ms delay here is the function of the convert data and here we define an send char value from here main code is start in main code first of all we will set the trisc is equal to a 0x00 we will set the port c as a output port and we will set tris d0 D1, D2, and A0 as a output port, and we will set TRIS A0 is equal to a input port. After that, we will set add cone is equal to 0x45, and after that, we will set add cone 1 is equal to a 0x80. Here we call the delay, we will call the LCD initialize. We will call the ms delay and we will write a data string temperature. Here is a while one loop. While one loop is an endless loop. After that, we will set add cone 0 bit is equal to a 1. After that, we will wait here. Add cone 0 bit dot n done is equal to a 1. It will stay here until the data is converted. After that, we will call value is equal to a any data available in ADRESH. We will multiply that data with 256 and we will divide that data by the lower bytes. After that, we will call convert data. We will give this value to convert data and it will convert the data. And after that, we will take delay. Here is the function of the convert data. In the convert data, it will call the LCD command and it will move the cursor at 0xc6. After that, we will create three variables x1, x2, and x3 any data available in ANA we will divide that data with 100 and we will percentage with 10 and we will store that data into x1 and we will again data available in ANA we will divide by 10 and we will take its percentage by 10 and we will store that data into x2 and after that we will again any data available in ANA we will divide it by 1 and we will take its percentage by 10 and we will store that data into x3 we need to convert data because analog to digital converters give data binary code decimals and we need to convert that data into ASCII code so LCD can display after that we will call the LCD data we will display x1, x2 and x3 data. This is the AXI code 0xdf. It will display the sign of degree and after that we will display C for it temperature. There is a function of the LCD initialize and LCD initialize function there is MS delay 200 we will call the 0x38 and we will we will send data 0x38 and after that we will send data 0x0c and after that we will clear the data. 
here is the function of the lcd command any data available in x we will send that data to, to the lcd we will set rs is equal to a 0 rw is equal to a 0 and we will set en is equal to a 1 we will take delay and we will set en is equal to a 0 and here is the function of the lcd data any data available in unsigned char x we will send that data to the lcd we will set rs is equal to a 1 rw is equal to a 0 and we will set en is equal to a 1 we will take delay and we will set en is equal to a 0 here is the function of the lcd string that is the while loop any data available in string it will send data one by one to the lcd and here is the function of the delay and here is the function of the ms delay now we will create its x file just click on build main project file is created now we will load this file into our project crystal frequency we are using 4 megahertz crystal and we will select the hex file next up new folder adc ok 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 and click on run simulation you can see it will show this temperature 56 degree if you will increase the temperature it will change on the okay friends if you have any problem in code let me know in comments and keep watching star technology 5g